They're like my three top things that I really try to prioritize in each and every day. And I feel like they've made a really big difference with how I've been feeling. <laughs> oh, fast running, Reed. The bikini is going insane. It's a bad thing to say about your kid, but. I can no! I'm actually not sure if I've told you guys about this on YouTube yet. afternoon this is such a rare occasion I am actually at home on my own right now I feel like I never ever have the whole entire house to myself I either always have got at least one child with me Kurt here staff here we actually fun fact have got staff here on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then also I'd say 50% of the time on a Friday as well so a lot of the time when I'm actually vlogging it's not just our family here and even more rare it's never like just me at the house so I'm just gonna chuck my hair open a bun guys because I am overdue to wash it and I feel like I probably should have done it today but I'm doing my tan anyway tonight so I was like you know what I'm just gonna hold off because I know tomorrow morning I'm gonna have to have a shower to rinse my tan off and I was like I may as well wash my hair at the same time also I'm really lazy like if I don't wash my hair first thing in the morning I really don't like having to wash it later on in the day whereas when it's like first thing in the morning I just usually do like a quick little blow dry let it drip dry throughout the day so anyways I was like I'm just gonna push it out for one more day but got it dry shampooed to the max so when it's like this slick bun is pretty much all that works for me but anyways as I was saying guys I normally never ever or very 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 rarely have the house all to myself I was saying to Kurt I feel like I'm gonna open this door it's so hot here today guys it's literally 30 degrees yeah I feel like I used to have days like this all of the time I feel like when we had our warehouse in particular I used to go up there for like a couple of hours in the morning and then I'd come home and get like some housework done and then finish the rest of my work day from home so it feels really nice to just literally have the house to myself it is so quiet I went and made myself a nice big healthy lunch went and sat outside and ate it in the sunshine it is the most beautiful day today guys but it's pretty windy have a look at that sky so the reason I have the house to myself I think I might have told you guys kitty no oh my Oh my gosh he just jumped so high there was a bug up the top of the screen and he jumped all the way up to grab it so yeah the reason why i have the house to myself today is because a normally sienna comes here on a wednesday and we kind of work on the website together but she's feeling a little bit under the weather today so she's just working from home so i've just been doing like phone calls back and forth and then b macy you want to come inside come on in I'm actually not sure if I've told you guys about this on YouTube yet, but Kurt's dad, or Big Dad, are I you doing just, it? I don't know. Well, I never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, well done. Kiara's had a big dad. This is the dad has ended up having to go and get surgery done on his shoulder. Actually on our wedding day, he picked up a bucket of ice and when he did it, he has ripped off a part of his muscle. So in your shoulder, there's like two muscles. There's a short one and a long one. I don't know. But anyways, he's been needing to get the back of his shoulder done for years and years and years and has basically just like continued to avoid it. So when this happened, he was like, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to get it done. But when he's ripped the muscle off, he's actually ripped off like the good one to rip off. Basically, the one that he's ripped, it's only, he's only going to lose 3% of his strength. I think I'm saying this right, guys. I'm just trying to remember what he had told me. Um, so he's actually going to leave it and not bother getting that one operated on, but he did get the back part operated on that he's needed to get done for a really, really long time. So he's had his surgery. Everything went really, really well, but obviously he cannot drive for six weeks. As you guys know, Kurt's mom and dad do so much for us. They're always the first ones here to give us a helping hand. If we need help with the kids, they will just often bring us down dinner for the night. Like they're just so lovely and so helpful. So as soon as it happened, and straight away we were like wherever you need to go anything you need to do just literally call on us and we are happy to help out so Kurt had to go last week I had to go pick him up from his operation and then today he's had to drop him up to Palm Beach because he's got a follow-up and I think he's got to get he's still got some um, staples and things in his arm as well so he's got to get those taken out but he's doing really really well surgery all went great but that's basically where Kurt is this afternoon and why I've had the last couple of hours at home on my own I've just finished work for the day it's two o'clock kids will be home in like another hour and I'll I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like soak up the silence. <laughs> so 
So I'm just chilling out, taking it nice and slow basically until the kids get home. Right before they get home, I will probably prep up a little bit of afternoon tea for them. Also, update on my elbow, guys. It is fine. It is just bruised. Last time I saw you guys, I think it was just really hurting because I'd been using it a heap that day. Also, Regan was at home, so I was like picking her up non-stop and I feel like it was just my body telling me to rest. It's definitely still tender and things like that, but it is totally fine. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, it just kind of goes back to normal. But I think as well, you know, it's just a matter of me listening to my body and when my body was telling me the other day to like slow down and stop lifting things and doing things. I just kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And then that's why it got swollen and sore. on the veggie garden guys. Strawberries have finally started to grow. This has taken so long for them to sprout, but they've finally sprouted. Still no tribes, no love on the tribes. The broccoli was going amazing and then something has eaten it. I don't know whether it's grasshoppers or snails because there was also things that were eaten out of our letterbox. Oh my gosh, I need to pull that out. Um, yeah, there's also things that were eaten out of our letterbox. So I don't know whether it was snails or a grasshopper or what it was, but something has attacked that. Lettuce is going great. We have actually been picking bits and pieces and eating it. So yummy. Corn is going insane. And also, our zucchini is going insane. Our little jalapenos are going great as well. They took a while to pop up, but they are going strong. These guys need heaps of sun and very little water, so I didn't water these. I'm just going to let them do their thing. Ah, so much junk. Okay, afternoon tea is nearly ready. I have definitely been eating it as I've been going. <laughs> what do we have here on the menu this afternoon? Some Jack's biscuits, some cheese, some, the kids call these red sausages. I think they're actually called Frankfurt's or Cheerios. And then I'm just gonna do some watermelon, but I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit smaller. If you don't do this, it is a game changer. If you just have like snacks ready to go when the kids get home, no one complains at you and says that they're hungry, A. Eh? And I find too, having three children, what happens is one person says they're hungry, you make them something. Then someone else says they're hungry, you make them something. So you're like constantly in the kitchen all afternoon. Then you prep dinner, make dinner, no one eats dinner. So I do like a light snack like this. So this will feed everyone. So it's enough to keep them satisfied but not fill them up enough for dinner. But also, Mm, that's really good one. If you prep it before they get home, then you're not spending the entire afternoon in the kitchen. And as soon as I walk in the door and they see it, they're happy. I'm happy. Kurt's happy. And yeah, it's honestly been life changing in the afternoons. I just feel like the afternoons flow so much nicer when I have food prepped, ready to go for them as soon as I walk in the door. Hi, Mum. Hi, Lucky. I'm going to put at school. No way. With a little spoon. Have you seen the Arvo? So nice, hey. Such a nice day. No yeah. How was school? Get out of that, little boy. Hey, Link, no. No. No, Cola Cola. No, Cola Cola for Linky. You just had a cupcake. I know. Um, I have guys. Linky, no! God, no! <laughs> He's found your Cola Colas. You ready to look at this? Oh, look. What's that? Bowl. You're a bowl. Okay, go get a bowl. You're the closest one. Is that good? Is that yummy or more? Yeah. Mom, you should do it. Dad always does it. Oh, excuse me. I did it yesterday. Yummy. Yummy. Oh my gosh. Look at her go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Regan, you can slow down. Mom, let me just a little bit of my cupcake. Oh, that's nice of you, Lee. How do we go? <laughs> Mila is always the only one, guys. She I does not want to go to the beach. You went well. You went well. Yeah, we all like, so Regan, <laughs> Regan, Lincoln, Kurt and I, all, all of us ever want to do is go down the beach every afternoon. Like we all absolutely love it. It makes our day, like watching the sunset down the beach. Nothing better. Actually, Miller said her favorite thing about going down there is watching the sunset. She also loves collecting shells, but 
Apparently that's not on the radar today. <laughs> um, and Miller's the only one. You never want to go to the beach. But we all love going. So we've yeah, reached a negotiation. Yeah. Miller feels like drawing. So we're going to bring a book and a pen what? down the beach. And you can draw while we're at the beach. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> what, is, what is that? <laughs> chili worm. A chili worm? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got to I got to eat chewing gum at school. No, you didn't, you yes, chili worm? Whoa. Let's get out of this house. Let's get out before we don't get out. Do you hate this house? No, I've just been in it all day. I love our house, but I've been in it all day, so I'm ready to just like go outside. Haven't been for a walk, haven't been out. I actually did the gym from home today. I haven't been to the gym. I've not, I've not left the house all day, not once. I'm gonna be here once too. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? I just standing, but I just tripped on that chair. Wow. Are you ready? I'm cramping to my left. You're cramping, how are you, where are you cramping from? Running. Oh. It's so what are you dressed up at? Now? Yeah. No, we're going to the beach. Why don't you oh, use the surfer? Lynn, can you please go get your board shorts on? Riggy! 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 Nice clothes! I like your t-shirt and your pants. Ah. And nice... Wow! <laughs> okay, bye! Bye! Riggy, love you! Love you! Okay, love you too, Mum. Look at all the butterflies. Can you see them all? We Look call at... them moths. Oh, they are moths. <laughs> oh, no. I love like butterflies. They're great butterflies, darling. Great butterflies. Look, you'll see them, Miller. Look out. I saw like four butterflies today, but. Such bad thing to say about your kid, but when he has a couple of falls on these big bumps, you're telling about he falls. Off. Yeah. Like he's had a couple of big falls. And he hurts himself, and then now I watch him. And he goes, he knows where they are, so he's slow. Yeah, he's like actually learned. Yeah. yeah. I really don't care about this. But that was green yesterday because of how hot it was, so no rain. Where are you playing? Playing. Look. Not playing. Reality, guys, this is how I carry the scooter. Linky can never ever ride the scooter the whole way there, but he does well. He gets like 70% of the way. I don't know how this scooter balances so well like that. You're walking, good girl. You're a big girl. Scary. Oh, is it scary in the bush? There's a turkey. See the turkey? Turkey. <gasps> So this is Miller. Miller goes, oh, I don't want to come down the beach. And look, this is what she does when she comes down the beach. I think she really enjoys it more than anyone. I know. She loves it. Miller, how are you liking it? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. What's the most beautiful part about the beach? Singing? I think you are. Oh, perfect. We're both the same then. Yeah. Do you make his man? Yeah, look what I make. Wait, do you know what? I think this would be the perfect chance to actually make the maker's man house. You reckon? Yeah, you know Dad, what? can we try I'm and make the house out of this? Wait, can you find me a second? Can we not start yet? Yeah. I don't want to go, I don't want to go. Perfect. Loves it. Worth the hour and a half to get out of the house. Oh, got no mates. <laughs> oh, guys, this is the life. Kurt and I were just saying how Miller like never wants to come down here. Bring her down, and then she has the best time every single time. And I need to just be like, no, Miller, we're going down because every single time, without a doubt, 
she like never wants to go home. Let's go! Come on! Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! has honestly just been perfect but anyways I'm gonna quickly make my bed guys because a part of my self-love is making my bed every day reading a book every day exercising every day and that's pretty much it like and it doesn't need to be long like some days I might only get 10 minutes of reading some days I might get an hour and a half of reading some days I might get a walk in and then other days I might get an hour gym session in so it's different every single day but they're like my three top things that I really try to prioritize in each and every day and I feel like they've made a really big difference with how I've been feeling so I read this quote the other day and I actually shared it on my Instagram and I wanted to read it to you guys about making your bed and it is so bloody true it says making your bed every morning is correlated with better productivity a greater sense of well-being and stronger skills with sticking to a goal so anyways i completely agree with that 110 percent and a few minutes out of your morning it's such a nice feeling to actually go into a made bed at night so i'm gonna make my bed first before i head downstairs and then it is time to drop me off at school Watching Fireman Sam. It's nice. What did you say when I walked down the stairs? Um, <laughs> um, you Can you dance like that? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. Oh, I love you. You still sleep with that beautiful little bunny? Yeah. One of you guys actually gave it to Miller, and she still sleeps with it every single night, don't you? So cute. Hi, Riggy. Hi. Well, guys, it is that time, the Mad Rush morning. I am going to leave today's vlog here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.